In this training module, you'll be learning about changing ends with a locomotive. Many types of locomotives have two cabs in order to make them as versatile as possible. While the cabs are often virtually identical, they are often referred to as either the A and B ends, number one or two end, or simply their front and back. Usually the designation of the cab is written somewhere in the cab. In the case of the class 66, it's above the window on the right hand side. In this case, you can see you're in the number one cab. All the junctions will be set for you in this module. You'll just be focusing on the locomotive. First, get the train moving forwards and drive over to the indicated stop marker and come to a stop in the platform somewhere. Okay, let's change ends. The basic process is always the same. Shut down the cab you're in and set up a new cab. Each cab has slightly different requirements to shut it down and set it up, however. Start by setting the reverser back to neutral. Now remove the reverser. Removing the reverse has automatically applied the brakes on the locomotive, so you don't need to worry about what happens when you change ends or what position to leave the train brake in. On this locomotive and on some others, you also need to make sure to put the locomotive brake in the release position when you're ready to switch cabs. If you don't, the controls in the other cab won't be able to release the brake. 
Before you move to the other cab, set the tail lights on and turn the headlights off. If you've used cab light or desk lights, turn those off too. Head to the other cab. You'll need to leave the train and get back on board at the other end. While some trains allow you to walk from cab to cab internally, it's often hot and uncomfortable. Notice that this end shows that you're in camp number two with the writing above the right-hand window. Get the cab set up as per normal and then pull forward to the marker in the other siding and come to a stop. That concludes this module. If you wish to replay it, you can come back to it at any time via the training center.